Hi, my name is Greg Hung, travel videographer. I'm going to give you some of my favorite tips for night photography and night video. I think that I've had a lot of experience with this over the years because I do enjoy my nightlife and I found a pretty good setup that gives me the cinematic look for night photography and videography. So let's just start off with my setup. I've been using a Canon 6D DSLR since 2013 with a Canon 50mm f1.4 lens. I found that this is a great combination to get the cinematic look on your photos and videos with lots of creamy bokeh in the background, nice sharp focus. The lens itself doesn't cost too much and the Canon 6D has been out for a while so that's also not too expensive. I actually find that this setup performs a lot better than my Panasonic GH5 with the 12 to 60 Lumix kit lens. So let's look at some other tips that you can get regardless of your setup. But I'll put a link below if you're interested in that setup I just told you about. So what are some tips? I recommend getting a low aperture lens. So this is your f-stop. So a low amount will be something like f1.2 or f1.4. As I share with you, my lens is f1.4, but I've seen lenses that go down to f1.8. I don't think you want to go any higher than f1.8 if you can help it. I've got lenses that are f2.8 and I just found that they get too noisy, you don't get as much bokeh. Now what about the camera body? I recommend a camera with a large sensor. The Canon DSLRs had a great reputation for performing well in low light and giving you the cinematic look. So Canon 6D, Canon 5D, Mark II, Mark III, and even Mark IV. The Sony AS2 the upcoming AS3 and the A7 III. I haven't tried them myself, but I've heard a lot of good feedback about the performance in low light. I'm not sure about how much bokeh you're gonna get with the sensor, but you also wanna consider those cameras. Some other tips for shooting at night are to have a light source of your own that you can control. So if you have a camera, great if you have a speed light. Personally, because I focus more on video, I prefer to bring an LED light with me. This way I can adjust the light, just stick it on top of my hot shoe and control the lighting. Now, if you don't have a light with you, which could be the case if you're out on the night, is to use the natural sources of light that you do have. For example, in the shot of the rooftop, there was hardly any light available, but I did see at the bar, the counter was lit up. So we took the photo at the bar counter with no flash, no LED light. And because the setup I use is about as good as it gets, I was able to get a decent photo without any flash. Another tip is Usually I use autofocus when taking photos, but if you have trouble finding a focus point on the face with auto, switch it over to manual and it may take a bit of practice to get focus. So take a lot of shots in manual and review your photos before you leave the site. Now, if I'm doing video, I want to set my aperture to the lowest setting. So if I'm using f1.4 lens, I want to set it to f1.4 and I usually shoot at 24 frames per second so I want to double the frame rate. For the ISO, I like to go up to anywhere between ISO 1600, 3200 max but 1600 for my setup is about as high as I would go for video. I might go a bit higher for photos, but it really depends on your setup. I heard the Sony A7S II cameras can go a lot higher. My Panasonic GH5, 
I don't want to go any higher than 1600. Otherwise, the picture becomes noisy. So I hope these tips helped you a lot for night video and night photos. And I hope you take some better stuff out there at night. Enjoy the nightlife.